It's Cowboy here with a product review. We got a wireless smart remote that was sent to me to take a look at, review, and let them know what I thought about it. So here we go. Welcome back to Cowboy Jack Live. It's me, it's a cowboy, right here on your phone, on your computer, on your tablet, wherever you're watching me. Maybe even the 72 inch big screen on your living room TV. That's awesome. Hi, I'm big. Wow, really need to stay off the caffeine before I start doing these things, but hey, thank you for watching. Before I begin, don't forget, smack that subscribe button, smack that notification bell, and if you find this video useful, give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. So we're going to, we got this uh, wireless smart remote that was sent to me uh, to review, hook it up, see what I think, leave a review about it on Amazon, whether it's good or bad, they're going to find out what I think here in just a bit. But first off, let's go ahead and get this puppy rolling. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what it comes with. All right, so like I said earlier, I apologize for my voice. I've been playing Freddy Krueger at a haunted house. So, uh, yeah, a lot of screaming. But here we go. This is the uh, wireless Bluetooth smart remote. Uh, I've already unboxed it once, but I put everything back together just to show you how it comes in the package. Um, no brand other than, you know, it says patent product right there, but no brand that you can see, um, which happens a lot with uh, these Chinese imports like that. So we'll just pop it open. I did come in a plastic bag and had a, uh, I'll pop it out here, had uh, everything was in a bag. And on the back here, it had a film that I've already pulled off. Um, so it did come quite protected. Um, I do like it. Without batteries in it, it's super lightweight. <clears throat> not too bad. Not too heavy. I don't know if that's going to play a difference in using it. Uh, but we'll see uh, once I sync it up here. Uh, battery compartment right there on the bottom. Slides in. Slides out real easy. Pops in. Stays real secure. I like that. Um, it don't feel cheap, which I like. Um, <clears throat> for the price point that this was, uh, it's not too bad. So let's go in to see what it comes with. So we'll put that back right there. <clears throat> Pop this open. And you get a couple uh, manuals here. Um, didn't read over too much, but it's your typical, uh, very loosely translated English manual. It's got all your... Uh, Button codes, whatever button does, how to sync it, infrared learning, um, keyboard, frequently asked questions here. And then it also comes with another piece to uh, show you exactly how to set it up with your Fire TV and TV stick, which is what we will connect to right out of the gate once we pop the batteries in and get everything set up on the TV. Um, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> the one thing it did not come in with, with was batteries. I expected at least, you know, some cheap Chinese knockoff batteries, but none there. So I did find a couple energizers laying around in the drawer. So we're going to pop this out. <clears throat> pop the batteries in there. Positive on positive, negative on negative, so we don't blow ourselves up. Which is never a good thing. And there we go. Now we see a little red light flashing, red and blue. I don't know if you see that. Let me turn the light off here real quick. So and it went off about the time I turned the light off. But that just means it's got power, I'm guessing, and that we're working. So we will uh, go from here and sync it up, and let's see what happens. All right, so uh, we know what all it comes with. Um, I took the batteries out uh, because I did the unboxing yesterday along with uh, some other unboxing videos I needed to do. Um, so we're going to pop the batteries back in here, get the camera readjusted. We're going to be using this big uh, Sony 23-inch behind me. I've got my Amazon TV Fire Stick and my Raspberry Pi we're going to hook up, and we're going to sync this thing up with both of them, see how easy it is, see what happens, see what we think. Alrighty here, so we're set up. Uh, got the Fire TV stick powered on and up and running, as you can see. <clears throat> Pardon me, like I said, I've been working as Freddy Krueger the past two nights, so the voice isn't totally there, but we're going to make it work. Okay, I'm reading this, uh, the, the, the loosely translated uh, instructions here. 
Uh, can't get that to focus because it's focusing on the TV. Anyway, let's turn that light back off. It looks better like that. It says, <clears throat> and I quote, the first time Fire TV and Fire TV Stick connect to wireless smart remote, you must use remote control that comes with them or use Bluetooth keyboard to connect pairing. Yeah. Good thing that we're uh, some sort of more technologically advanced than uh, this wonderful piece of paper. So we're going to grab the uh, Fire TV Stick remote. And it says the Step Fire TV connects to Wireless Smart Remote 1. Press OK button and TV button four seconds at the same time. Might need to uh, <clears throat> go and do the Fire TV settings. So let's, well, let's go ahead and do this whole uh, connect button. So let's zoom out here. Don't pay attention to all that mess down there. <laughs> All right, so it says press OK and TV button for a second at the same time. So we got the uh, OK button and TV button here, so. OK, TV. One, two, three. So we're all lit up. Flashing quickly, there we go. Settings and find controller and Bluetooth devices on the fire stick. So let's zoom back in here and let's find settings and all that fun stuff. It says enter and Bluetooth, enter controller and Bluetooth devices menu, choose game controllers. Add a new controller. Go ahead and do that, even though it don't say to. Now we're searching for one. Add a new controller. It says gamepad. I don't know if this is going to be... I don't think that's what we're looking for. I think that might be what I have set up for my uh, Raspberry Pi. So let's do the uh, OK and TV again. Flashing again. So let's do add new controller again. Let's see what it finds. Bluetooth remote. That's going to be the one we're looking for. <clears throat> Pardon me. Man, I hate coughing like that into the camera. All right. Now it says connected. So let's see what we got. Hey, we're cooking with gas here. Let's zoom back out so you can see. So, uh, yeah. Now, where's our back button? There's our back button. Let's go ahead and hit the home button and see what that does. Nothing. Oh, no, it takes us back home. That's exactly what we're wanting it to do. <clears throat> Shoot, pardon me, man. We're going to get this thing kicked after a while. So uh, we'll zoom back in here and we'll start using it, flipping through everything. Looks like uh, it's working just fine. Let's find somewhere where we need to search. What do we want to search for? Let's flip it over here to our keyboard side. <clears throat> and let's just search for nothing. Okay. Here we go. N E T F L I X. And let's hit enter. That just put another X on there. So we're going backspace. So it looks like <clears throat> once you do that, you're going to flip the remote back over, choose Netflix. So the enter button don't work on the search button. You know, it's, I guess, one of the things that, one of the ways it works, I guess. So it looks like, for the most part, all the basic features are just fine. <clears throat> now, on this remote, we do have your number buttons. Uh, looks like some volume and channel or page buttons. It also said there's infrared control. So I dare say we can pair this up to a uh, Sony connection and get this working, the volume and all that. Uh, just for her the heck of it, let's see if it works. Nope, it does not work. Um, so, let's get to our trusty little uh, manual here. <clears throat> I are learning. 
pointing the IR managers of the TV remote and the wireless remote to each other, pressing on the TV on the remote key for four to five seconds till the LED light slowly flashes. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. I guess that's a slow flash. <clears throat> Well, I'm reading through it and can't figure out how to do that one just yet. So I'll uh, give it a little practice outside of recording and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll use our fancy dancy new remote here and turn our uh, Fire TV off or put it to sleep or however we do that. Let me just power. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's flip on over to uh, the Raspberry Pi. I already have it connected here. <clears throat> Pardon me again. Shoo. So I have it connected to uh, So I've got the Raspberry Pi booted up here and it's got my retro Pi memory card loaded up. So as you can see here, we're, we're working on RetroPie. I'm using my old school uh, cheapo remote here that does all the fun stuff if I'm using Kodi or uh, the Linux browser or anything like that. Um, so we'll try to set this DC uh, remote up in our Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and hit... <clears throat> pardon me. We will hit... A there to select and let's go up to Bluetooth get that loaded up here say hi to the reflection on the camera and we're going to choose register and connect to Bluetooth advice let's go ahead and do this a uh, whole okay and TV thing again now we're lit up it's searching it's searching now we really wish you could see more of that there we go and nothing's really coming up as far as uh, what we need to look for. It's all our lovely codes. Um, so I dare say I could fiddle with this and try to find it. I do know that that code right there is new. So, you know, let's, let's see what happens. Let's give it a shot. We're slowly flashing on the remote now. An error occurred. So let's try this again. Bluetooth remote popped up right there at the top of the list. I don't know if you can see that. We'll try to zoom in a little bit better. There we go. So yeah, we got Bluetooth remote right there at the top of the list. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Try the first round. For security mode. <clears throat> An error occurred. So let's see if it finds it again. So there's Bluetooth remote again. Let's go down to a keyboard display. In there, please please choose the security mode of the first one. Try the first one if the if that the second if that fails. So it looks like it failed again. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Keep on going down the list here. <clears throat> this is going to be a rather long video, so I do appreciate y'all uh, sticking around with me and uh, seeing how this thing works here. And we're still waiting. Another error. Alright, let's do it again. <clears throat> I think 
think it said the second one was a uh, keyboard only. I oh, know we're down here the second. Let's go on. Let's get display and let's go to keyboard only and see what that does. <clears throat> Shoo. Another error. Oh, well, let's try display only just to see what happens. Have a feeling we're going to be batting zero on this one, but it's worth a shot. Can't say we didn't try if we don't at least try. So let's go on down to Bluetooth remote, pick it, and number four, the only one we haven't done yet, display only. We we'll click the OK button. Get a little wait here, and let's see what happens. So once again, we get another error. So I'm going to dare say that we are unsuccessful on pairing uh, this with the Raspberry Pi, at least uh, in the sense of connecting it with uh, a retro Pi setup. <clears throat> I might get some more luck if I use the uh, Cody setup, but I'm not totally sure there. Let's, uh, you know, for the heck of it, flip it back over to our... Uh, Amazon input. Let's go ahead and turn the Amazon on. Let's hit the switcher and flip it on over. <clears throat> so there's that. Let's see if this the remote's already back working. So there we see device connected and we're back working again. I don't think that had anything to do with it connecting to the Raspberry Pi, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, this may take a little more playing around to get it connected to the Raspberry Pi, but, you know, for what it is on the Fire TV stick and the potential, I think uh, I think, it, I think it'll be pretty good. So let's, uh, let's go and uh, shut all this down and uh, Raiders versus 49ers. Does anybody even care? <laughs> let's go and get this shut down and uh we'll give it my final thoughts all right so what do we think uh got it successfully paired with my fire tv stick unsuccessfully with the raspberry pi um from the little bit i played around with it on the fire tv stick um looks like it's you know a basic remote but when you compare it to uh let's say the actual Fire TV remote. I mean, you got your, you know, your up, down, left, right, your home, back, menu, play, pause, rewind, fast forward, and your Alexa voice. Now, this does not have the Alexa voice part to it, um, but you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buttons on this one. Uh, whereas you have your full featured uh, remote here. You got your up, down, left, right arrows, OK, home, back. Play, pause, all the fun stuff. Everything you typically expect to see in a remote. And then you flip it over. You got your keyboard on the back. So if I could get this to connect to the Raspberry Pi, I think I'm going to get better use of it there than I will on the uh, Amazon TV Fire Stick. Either way, for what this is, um, would I pay the suggested MSRP of $29.99, you know, roughly $30 bucks for it? I don't think so. Uh, maybe 20, 15 or 20 bucks. That sounds something more along the uh, lines of what I think it's worth. Um, you know, holding it, it, it's starting to get that sort of cheap feel. Uh, but still, it's not a bad remote overall. Um, so I would definitely, I'd give it at least four out of five stars just because I couldn't get it to connect to the Bluetooth after almost. 10 minutes of trying um, that segment as far as recording took about 13 minutes to record and most of that was trying to get it to connect to my Raspberry Pi with no success but as far as connecting to the Fire TV stick it connected right up no problems there um, works like a charm so I, I do like it um, this will be used it's not going to just uh, sit in a box anywhere I'm not going to give it away or something like that so with that said, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this uh, video informative, useful. Um, if you like it, want to get your hands on it, I'll leave a link in the description below. 
If you found this video useful, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know if you didn't find it useful. Hit that thumbs down button. Let me know the truth. Um, that's what I like about this channel. You can let me know exactly how you feel. Um, let me know in your comments below any thoughts, any questions you have on it. I'll get back to them as soon as I can, as soon as they pop up. Um, don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Smash that uh, notification bell. That way you know every time the cowboy comes through with another video. And as always, no matter if we agree or agree to disagree, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Cowboy out.